Hi, and maybe good morning to this 20-minute yoga flow for waking up your entire body. My name is Nadine Brandl. I'm a two-time Olympic athlete and Cirque du Soleil performer, and I know just what it's like to wake up in the morning and feel a little tight. So let's go and stretch it out. To start, let's come into a seated position that is comfortable for you. Cross your legs, and maybe if you want to, take a blanket or a towel you can sit on for the purpose of allowing your hip flexors to relax. It's always easier for them if your knees and hip points are in one horizontal line so your muscles don't have to hold the legs up so much. And then gently lower your gaze or close your eyes for just a moment. Take a deep inhale and exhale and allow yourself to arrive on the mat and in your practice. Maybe notice any sensations your body is telling you. Maybe you can feel tightness or already some relaxation. And just know that there is no right or wrong. It's just a session to get to know where you are at today. After your next exhale, open your eyes slowly and take in the room around you where you scream. And with your next inhale, bring the arms up and out through the side, palms face each other. Go for a little morning stretch here. Elevate one side after the other. Stretch it out. And then bring the arms back down. Lower your head. Let the gaze go forward and then bring your head side to side. Ear wants to go towards the shoulder and just be gentle to your body that's still waking up, knowing that you always have the option to go for more. But meet yourself where you're at today. Come to the left side of your body, so left ear wants to go to the left shoulder. Extend your left arm out and through the side and then gently place your hand onto your right ear or right side of the hand. There is no need to push here, just let gravity do the work. And if you do feel like you want a little more stretch, take your fingertips and walk away from your right hip. Allow your shoulders to draw away from your ears. And after your next exhale, bring the hand back to the hip, release your upper hand, let the head fall forward and over to the other side. Same thing here, extend your right hand out through the side and then place the right hand on top of the left side of your head and just let it rest here. Gravity is going to do the job for you so that you can just relax the shoulders and the neck muscles. And if you do feel like you want a little more stretch, bring the fingertips away from your left hip. Try to let go of any tension you're holding here. With your next exhale, bring the left fingertips back towards your body. Let go of the right hand. Let the head come forward one more time. And then gently roll it up to a straight position. Make sure you feel your sit bones evenly distributed into the mat or the towel or your yoga blanket. And on your next inhale, bring your arms up and out through the side. Grow tall. Exhale, place your right hand onto the left knee. Reach up one more time and then lean over to your right side. Can you draw the left side of your ribs up towards the ceiling? 
and be mindful of both of your sit bones as the weight still evenly distributed in the floor. On your exhale, roll your body down, place your left hand on your right knee. Your arms are now crossed. Round your back one more time. Send especially the upper spine towards the ceiling behind you. Find some space between the vertebrates. And then with your inhale, rise tall. Let go of the arms on your knees and bring your forearms towards each other. Exhale, draw your elbows away from you and up. And maybe you notice already how you can stretch out the part between your shoulder blades. Find some space alongside your back. And then on your next exhale, let the arms go. Shake them out for just a moment. Inhale, bring them up and out. Palms face each other again. Exhale, this time place the left hand onto your right knee. Elevate your body and spine one more time, grow tall. And then lean over to the left side, making sure both of your sit bones are still evenly grounded in the mat. Can you send your fingertips away from you as your right sit bone draws towards the floor? And maybe you can lift the right side of your ribs just a little higher towards the ceiling, opening up your chest. Exhale, place the right hand down onto your left knee. Bring the body back to center. Send your upper spine once again away from you, rounding the back. Let your head hang here. And then on your inhale, Roll tall, stretch out the spine, let go of the fingertips and bring your forearms towards each other. Send your elbows first away from your chest and then up, maybe all the way up to shoulder level. If not, that's completely fine too. There's no right or wrong here. Just notice how you stretch out apart between your shoulder blades, allowing those muscles to relax. Exhale, let go of the arms. Shake out your head, arms and shoulders one more time. And then come into a tabletop position. If you choose to sit on a blanket or towel, you can place it on the side now. Make sure your hands are just underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hip points. Ground your index finger and thumb into the mat. That allows some space on the outside of your wrist and some stability. Draw your elbows a little bit towards each other and on your next inhale, send your chest through your upper arms, coming into an arch back position, which is also called cow position. Okay. Exhale, let the sit bones look towards the ground, draw your navel in, round your upper back, and let your head hang to come into cat. Inhale, come back to cow. Let the sit bones look towards the ceiling, bring the chest through the upper arms. Exhale, draw the navel in, let the lower back start the movement. And then the upper back and your head follow. Repeat this movement a couple more times in the rhythm of your own breath. With each inhale, arching back into cow. With each exhale, rounding your back into cat position. You might notice that it's a little harder to arch your upper back compared to your lower back, which is because the ribs are attaching to our spine here, making it a bit harder to arch. But that also means this is exactly where you want to find the opening to grow your range of motion. After your next exhale and rounded cat position, come back into a neutral tabletop. Sit back for a moment onto your heels, extend your arms forward, 
and let the head rest onto the mat. Now bring your hands over to the right side of the mat. Draw your fingertips away from you as your sit bones. Want to sit down just a little more on the heel, reaching into the opposite direction so that you extend the whole left side of your upper body. Exhale, bring the arms back to center and then move them over to the left. Same thing here. Send especially your right hand away from you and the right sit bone in the opposite direction, wanting to sit down just a little more on your heels. Can you feel the opening here in your rib cage as you inhale? And then on your next exhale, bring the arms back to center. Draw the navel in, come back to tabletop. And then untuck the toes and send your hips up towards the ceiling, extending your knees towards downward facing dog, just as much as is right for you. So they don't have to extend all the way since it's your first downward facing dog of the day. So keep them bent if you want to. Or keep them mad with apart if that's what your body needs right now. You can also keep them hip distance and then just pedal out your feet, sending one heel at a time towards the mat as you lift the other one. And just do what's right for your body here. You're the one to feel it best. After you've gotten at all the movements of your out of your body, come back to bringing the feet hip distance apart. Sending your heels into the mat. Send your hip bones towards the ceiling behind you to find length in your upper body. And get just a moment of stillness. After your next exhale, bring your hands and feet towards each other. Once again, bending your knees as much as is needed for you here. Allow your head to hang here and the neck muscles to relax. They don't have to work. Bring your hands onto your hip bones, draw the navel in, and then roll up one vertebrae at a time into a standing position. Come to the top of your mat. Extend your arms next to your body. Palms are facing forward. And if you want to, take a moment here to close your eyes. Or lower your gaze and just notice where your feet are touching the mat without having to change anything. Where are you connecting to the ground? And can you now bring the weight in your feet so that all four corners of your feet are sharing the weight equally? So the inner and outer foot are evenly grounded, as well as your toes and heels. With your next inhale, bring your arms up and through the side, palms face each other. Find length in your spine as your wrists draw down towards the hips. Exhale, draw the navel in, and then dive forward into a forward fold called Uttanasana. Inhale, find length in your spine, send your chest forward. And as you exhale, place the hands down, step back into a plank position. Pause here for a moment, send the heels away from you and the hip bones up towards the ribs. Tuck the belly in or send your navel towards the spine. And then place your knees onto the mat and lower the upper body down on the ground. Inhale. Bring your elbows towards each other. Notice how that lifts the shoulders off the mat already. And then send your chest forward, coming into low cobra. Exhale, lower the upper body. Draw your navel in. Push yourself through tabletop into downward facing dog. And send your heels to the mat once more. 
As you inhale, start by lifting your inner right thigh to come into a tree-legged downward facing dog. As you exhale, draw the leg towards your chest and as much forward as you can. Can you hover over the ground here for a moment and then quietly place down your foot onto the mat and push the weight into your heel to come up into crescent pose. Take a moment here to place your hands onto your hip bones and make sure both of your hip bones are facing forward and parallel. Is your front knee just above the front heel? And can you now send your hip bones up towards the ribs to lengthen your lower back? And as you exhale, extend the back leg, so the left leg, to find length in your hip flexor. Inhale, bend the knee, exhale. Send your hip bone up and your thigh in the opposite direction, getting a nice stretch in your hip flexor. Inhale, bend the knee again, and then place your hands down next to your foot. Let your right leg meet the left one in plank position. Find length one more time, and then place your knees down to the ground. Send your shoulders forward, lower down. Inhale, elbows pull towards each other to lift the shoulders off the mat. Send your chest forward into low cobra. Same here, can you send your sit bones towards your heels to lengthen the lower back to keep it long and protected? Exhale, lower down, draw the navel in, push through tabletop into downward facing dog. Send your sit bones towards the ceiling behind you. And then lift your inner left thigh towards the ceiling, raising your leg into three-legged downward facing dog, making sure the heel is up and the toes look towards the ground. And then on your next inhale, pull the leg in towards the chest, let the upper body come forward, hover just a moment above the mat, and then silently place the foot down onto the mat, push up into crescent pose. You can always widen your stand, bringing the left leg more to the left and the right leg more to the right to give you more stability and also to help bring the right hip forward so that your pelvis is parallel to the short side of the mat. On your next exhale, extend your back leg, finding a nice stretch to open your right hip flexor. Inhale, bend the leg again. One more time. Now pull your right hip bone up as your right thigh goes in the opposite direction, opening up your hip flexor even more as your lower back stays long. You don't want to arch it here and get like the flexibility in your lower back. You really want to open the hip flexor. And then bend the right leg again. Place your arms down next to your foot. Step back into plank. Lower the knees. Send the body, the upper body forward. Lower down one more time. Send the chest up and forward as your elbows draw towards each other. Exhale, lower the body down. Draw the navel in. And then come back to child's pose, sending the sit bones away from you. Notice the rhythm of your breath. Maybe it has changed to becoming a little more deep or faster. On your next exhale, slowly bring your body above the feet and roll your spine up into a straight position. Sit onto your side, bring the legs forward, and come into a back layout, gently rolling down the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Bring both 
of your legs towards your chest. Hug yourself, showing yourself some love here that you deserve very well. And then extend your arms out to a T position, palms face down. On your next exhale, let the legs come over to your right side as your right shoulder grounds into the mat. You can bring your gaze over to the right side. If this is uncomfortable at any moment, you can always send your knees a little more away from your upper body to reduce the twist in your spine. With your next inhale, bring the head back to center and then bring your legs back to center and let them fall over to the other side towards your right as your left shoulder wants to stay on the mat. Same thing here, you can bring your gaze over to the left side of your body. Can you allow any tension to release with each exhale? And can you find space in your body with each inhale? With your next inhale, bring your head back to center. Bring your legs back to center. And then roll over to your right side of the body. Push with your upper hand and come back into a sitting position. Find whatever position is comfortable for you here. So whether that's cross leg seat or if you want to sit on your heels, you choose. Let your hands comfortably rest in your lap or on your shins or knees. Close your eyes one more time or just lower your gaze. Take one more mindful inhale and exhale. Noticing how you fill your bodies and muscles with air. And then give yourself a moment to thank yourself for showing up today on the mat, making time in your day to take care of yourself. Allow your eyes to gently open again. Thank you very much for joining me to this practice. I hope I see you sometime soon. Namaste.